Artist Pat Brentano had an epiphany a few years ago, and it changed the whole focus of her work. Approximately six years ago, a neighbor moved into my neighborhood. This neighbor cut down 21 mature trees to build an enormous house. I was really angry. I didn't know what to do with it, so I decided to do a piece about it. And I decided to make 10 trees cut out of wood and call 10 environmental sites in New Jersey to see if they would put these trees on their property. I was saying, look, the trees are missing. And so that was how it got started. And then, of course, when you cut down the trees, you destroy the habitat for the birds. And I got involved with thinking about that. There are 50, 51 birds in Connecticut that are endangered, approximately 37 in New Jersey, and that's quite a lot of birds, but you don't know that. The average person doesn't know that. But the artist has an opportunity to teach that, to inspire people to think about their yards and to think about what they're doing when they uh, tear down trees to build big houses and destroy those birds. I mean, why are the deer in our yards? They have no place to go. I think it's really exciting to see the work outdoors because here we have 33 species of birds that are on the endangered list in New Jersey and so the silhouettes of those um, birds makes you kind of think of you know what happens if they're not around. Before this my work was always about the landscape and nature but it was more about things that I felt were beautiful or specific places. If I visited a place and I loved the ocean, I might do work about that. It wasn't about making a statement socially. And as, I, as you get older and you want to leave your mark and you think about what's going to happen with your children and their children, it seems to me that an artist has an opportunity to make a social statement and to make some kind of contribution and to influence people to inspire people. So I, I was thinking about what am I doing with this work? Am I painting a lot of beautiful things for my living room or do I want to say something? Visual language is the oldest language on earth and it's the one that gives you inspiration that can make you feel something. Look at the movie industry. Everyone responds to movies. People love movies. Why? It's visual. So that it reaches something deep inside of us. And I think as an artist, you can do the same thing. I had a very academic training where uh, we learned to draw, and to see, and to respond to that. And so in the drawing of the birds, I thought, well, let's cut the line out and let the sunlight create the line on the sculpture. And that way, I'm using nature as part of my palette. The piece, Bird Apocalypse, which is in the Carl Berger Gallery at Kane University in the show entitled The Garden Statement, is about the migratory birds of this part of the country that are flying to nowhere. And what happens is it's a, a very large piece and they're flying and they fall and crash into each other because they have no place to go. Actually, I think the paperwork is the one that interests me perhaps the most because I look at it as an abstraction or as a rendering. So the, the birds, you see them flying, but you also see kind of a collision of these birds all kind of in chaos, I guess you could say. So there's a contrast. But you can also look at it as a beautiful silhouette uh, that's an abstraction. I use the knife to cut the drawing of the birds and then they're layered with paper to create shadows that create that frenzy like music, like a crescendo of flight and then they crash in the last panel into each other upside down and it just becomes this big abstraction of line and light and it's supposed to give you that feeling of um, oh my god, oh wow, you know they're not landing anywhere. I'm interested in teaching the everyday person to pay attention and to do just something that might make a better world, whether it be just get rid of your grass so that birds have a place to eat and to live, um, not, to, not to throw plastic into the ocean, you know, whatever it is. Um, I, I'm not political, I'm environmental. You know, people are busy. They're rushing around in their cars, so their jobs and taking care of their families, and they're, they're, they're very busy and life is complicated and it's very crowded out here. So we don't really have a chance, but artists have a, 
opportunity to, to make people stop for just a minute and say, look at this.